welcome to Dickinson's Real Deal. Today the show comes to you from Wrexham in North Wales. Yakidar. Now all of these good people have gathered here because they want to sell their antiques for the very best price. And we're hoping that we will find a Welsh rare bit. If we do find something like that, how will they get the best price? Well, they can sit down with one of our dealers, have a really good handle, and accept a cash offer on the spot. £70 is what I'd like to pay for it. I, I, I don't think so. What £100 be? <laughs> I made you laugh. <laughs> yeah, you have done that one. I would be looking at twice that amount, at least. At least twice that amount. Or they can gamble and put their goods here into the sale room in the hope of getting more money. It's a difficult decision, but if they get it right, well, they walk away with the real deal. It's called an ocarina. How do you know that? Well, it was my grandmother who gave it to me, right. and uh, she just said, oh, yeah, that's an ocarina, right. and, and um, if you like it, you have it. And uh, what do you do with it? Same as with any wind instrument. Right. Thumb goes there, Right. sound comes out here, yeah. and then you select your note. I'm Blow blowing down here. the hole there. Yeah. Do you know, you can play that all day for me. Uh, it's made by a company called Meissen, you obviously know that. They're, they're German, uh, one of the most famous pottery and porcelain factories in the world. Uh, in fact, they were the originators of porcelain as we know it in the 1740s. Mm. This dates um, to the late Victorian times. Yeah, that would figure then. Yeah. My grandmother had it, she being born in uh, late yeah, Victorian sure. times, 1880s. And the pattern is uh, quite a famous pattern. We call it the onion pattern. It's a mice and onion pattern. This is a classic blue and white pattern which mice and made a lot of wares out of. Um, so it's well over 100 years old now? It's without any shadow of doubt it's 100 genuine years antique. old. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see many, but this is a genuine yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just knowing how to put a value on it. Well, uh, I suppose the idea of this job is I offer you some money for it and you can say yay or nay or put it in auction. Yeah? Yes, that's, that's the, the way the it idea. seems to work, yes, isn't it? Yes, I'd be interested to see. There's a £50 note. Now, I can give you that with pleasure. Yes. Yeah? I think your 50 there is... Um... Few, no, few notes short of a tune. Well, well, that's fair comment. If that was mine, can I tell you something? It's a classic piece, right, to put into auction. Because if you just get two bidders, mm. you want your mice man and your musical instrument man, and all of a sudden you've got proper money. Proper money? Sounds tempting. So you're not going to put any more proper money down on the table today, then? Well. As I say, take me fifty pound if you if you want the fifty pound. I can I only advise you. Fifty pounds. Listen, let's take it to auction. <laughs> You'll do well with it. Yeah. Shall we agree? Auction it goes. Auction. Okay. Yeah. All right, Callum, you're a gentleman, okay. my dear. You'll do okay. Fifty quid cash was offered. Were you tempted to take that? No, I need to go to auction at the first time, so I thought... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have a feeling this should do a little bit better, but you never know on the day, it's all a bit of a gamble. Here it is now, over there. A bit different, go a long way to find another. I'll take 20 to start then, £20 a bit on my right, then 25 35 40 sir. Good. 40 at the back, 5 50 55 a fresh bit of 60 Seven. Exciting, isn't it? And five. Eighty. Whoop. And five. Five, if you like, sir. Sold, it goes at eighty. OK. Eighty pounds, that was the gross figure. You've got to deduct your commission, so I make that seventy-two pounds you'll be going home with. Are you happy you've made the real deal? I'm... Um, very happy that's the real deal. Thanks, David. I think it's the best and the real deal on the day.